We've seen that GET is a version control system that provides a place to keep our files and tracks all the changes to those files. But how do we use GET to create a repository, commit our changes, or view our change history? We can use GET in several ways. We can use the command line. Here is an example of some GET commands that you'd enter on the command line. These commands initialize a repository, add all files to staging, commit the files, and push them to a remote repository. We'll talk more about these steps shortly. Instead of the command line, we can use an application, such as GitHub Desktop. GitHub Desktop is a user interface specifically for Git and GitHub. Or we can use a code editor that has Git integration, meaning it has features to work with Git. This is VS Code, which is a common, full-featured code editor available on any platform. The command line has a steep learning curve with over 150 complex commands. It's easy to make a mistake, and it's often not clear how to fix those mistakes. But you do have access to all the Git commands, and you have more control. Plus, you don't have to open a tool. Using a tool such as GitHub Desktop or an editor such as VS Code is more user-friendly and easier to learn and more visual. You can better see your list of branches, view the files in your working folder and their status, and work with side-by-side -side file comparisons. Plus, you can commit at the press of a button. However, it's not always clear what exact operations the tool is performing or in what order, and the tools don't provide access to all the Git commands. How do you decide which to use? There's no reason you can't use them all. Use the command line when you don't want to open a tool or you want to do something that isn't available in the tooling. Use a tool or editor when it's easier. For example, if you do most of your editing in VS Code, it's convenient to commit from there as well. Since our focus in this course is GitHub, we won't cover the Git command line. If you're interested, check out the lesson links at the end of this lesson for some Git resources. We'll use both GitHub Desktop and VS Code in this course. We'll install them a bit later. Storing our commit history in our local repository helps us track, manage, and compare versions of our code. But since this repository is stored in our working folder, it doesn't protect us from computer issues or allow us easy access to our files from multiple devices. And it doesn't help us share our code with others. That's where GitHub comes in. We'll cover that next.